Hey everyone, Eman here with RemoraLite.com. In this video, we're going to look at three tabs, the print pivots, the print pivots by date, and the weekly pivot. First, on the print pivots tab, there's a slicer here that says select date. So, Friday was the 27th of May. So I'm going to click on the 27th of May. And the results that populate give you the market summary. So we see all of the stocks that we've tracked, and if there are prints on that actual day, it's the summary of total prints and the number of trades for that day. For example, Apple here has 1.5 million shares traded over six trades for the whole day. If we were interested to see what was going on with Apple, we could click the little plus beside it. We wind up seeing that the print range was a low of 147.71 up to 148.65. These are the prints there. And we see that there are several 300s, 300 300,000s, 300, a 100, and a 245.50. And we also note that this was within a dollar range. So total, there was 1.5 million shares traded within a dollar for a total of $229 million. You can see that each of these 300,000 trades were $44 million each. You can scroll down and see if there are any other stocks that are interesting. We can see the Bank of America had 5.8 million over five trades, and we'll do the same thing there. We can see that the range here was from 36.69 to 37. So in 31 cents, there was 5.8 million for a total of $215 million traded there. We might be bullish above 37.50, just looking at that, or bearish below 36. Looking up here, we can expand and collapse all of the fields. If I clicked here on Apple and choose the plus, it would expand the whole column. So then it would expose all of the prints and all of the tickers together. If I wanted to expand, for example, something that returns several trades, like ABBV, I could click here and click the plus. These plus and minuses are for the whole column. So if there are a whole bunch that are expanded, you can click the minus to collapse them or the plus to expand them. The additional information here with ABBV tells you the timestamp. This was 149.11, May 27th at 9.33 a.m. You can also filter prints for specific sizes. I can click filter prints and I want say greater than or equal to say 500,000. I'm going to choose go. This reduces the list and then we see how many prints were actually over 500,000. You can choose a range of days by sliding or you can switch the slicer from days to years, quarters, or months. So if we wanted everything for the month of May, I'll choose months and click May. So now what we have is we have our filter for the entire month for prints over 400,000 for all of the stocks together. I can clear the print filters, which reduces it back to all prints. At the top of the page, we have some helpful links. There's VIX Central, Options Profit Calculator, takes you to the Options Profit Calculator website, the Equity Clock website, Economic Calendar, which is by Forex Factory, Finviz, the Pattern site, if you are interested in specific candle setups or patterns, ETF channel, if you wanted to look up stocks in their respective ETFs or an ETF with their top holdings. Short Squeeze is shortsqueeze.com, which lets you see the short interest in a stock. We have CNN's Fear and Greed Indicator. Then there's Finviz's Market Heat Map. And then if you're interested in trading cryptos, there's the Coin360 website as well. On the top left-hand side, we can choose quick links, which will be another video. This one opens the control T window for you. You can click news for the selected stock. So we would have to come down and make sure we were on our ticker. If we wanted news on Alcoa, we could just click the news button and the news tab here would be populated. Finviz would take you to the Finviz site. ETF listings would take you to the ETF channel with it already populated. Same with short squeeze as well. There's an option ROI calculator button here, 
which will also be in another video. We also have this button that says Add Ticker to Date Lookup, and that's on. If we click it, it says it's off. Let's leave it on for a moment. And let's pick AAL. Notice when you're selecting different tickers, these values here are changing, so you don't have to repetitively enter information if you are looking at these websites. Let's go ahead and look at the print pivots by date. And because this is on, when we click over here, everything switches to American Airlines. I'm going to clear the print filters here, and this does the similar sort of thing. Although it expands by date, the price, and the prints here, you can see similar information by date with the price sorted highest to lowest and the prints at that time frame. You can do the same thing with the slicer. This is by default all dates, all the way back from 2018 through to current. Let's go ahead and click on the weekly pivot. This is quite interesting as well because you can see similar information but by week. I'm going to click last week because the recording of this video is on a Sunday, so these prints would not be in the future. This then returns all of the tickers, and we can see on specific days where the prints came in. So we can see for American Airlines, on Monday there was 333,000 total for the day, then 625,000, then 842,000, and then almost a million on Friday. So if we expand AAL, we can see this. We have the high of 1819 and the low at 1545. And on Monday, we see that the print range was between 1652 and 1667. So we have this many here within 15 cents, which is 333,000 for the day, which is correct from when we expanded this. Then we see potentially buying at the bottom down here. 625,000. And Wednesday, there wasn't anything. Thursday, we see prints coming up here for 842,000. And Friday, we see prints up here for 982,000. This is quite helpful. You can do the same thing and drag the range. You could choose this month, which takes a little bit longer to process. Let's go back to last week. All three of these pivot tabs have the same information across the top. I hope this helps you finding some great trades. We'll see you in the next video, which is the volatility tab.